Hello everyone, and welcome to our daily devotionals that we are providing uh, online. Uh, welcome to each of you, if you're brand new joining us for the first time, we're glad to have you. Um, we began last week uh, a series in these devotionals where we're talking about the one another phrases in the New Testament and kind of working our way through those. And so each of the ministers this week will be tackling again another one of those phrases. And so my um, subject and assignment for today is a really easy one. Forgive one another. I remember, and I'm sure you recall, there's a story uh, in Matthew 18, where Peter comes to Jesus and he says to Jesus, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? And before I tell you what Jesus said in response, I just have to say that I would say that Peter is very generous here. Seven times seems like a lot. <laughs> I don't know about you, but have you forgiven a particular person, a, a friend, a, someone at church, and another person seven times? Wow. Seems like a lot. But it, it, it's interesting what Peter is doing. He's coming and asking the question about forgiveness using a number. And so, in response to that, now we get the response of Jesus. And Jesus responds with a number different than Peter's number. And Jesus says, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. <laughs> so, so now we're playing a numbers game. Is it seven or is it 77? How many times? I think when we look, and particularly when you read the parable about the unmerciful servant that follows, the point is there isn't a number. And that's the problem, because we want a number. I want a number. I'll forgive you, but I want a number. How many times do I need to forgive you? And seven seemed like a reasonable number to me. I mean, a little high, but I could go with that. But 77. And so, there's a sense in which what we have going on here is an attempt to turn forgiveness, that is, my job of forgiving you or your job of forgiving me, into a numbers game or what we might call forgiveness math. But there's only one problem with that. And that is that forgiveness is not about math. It's about a path. And what I mean by that is it's not about the numbers. It's about a way to live. It's a way we're going. A way we're thinking. A way that we see each other. It's a path. It's a journey to forgive one another. One of the problems we face with forgiveness is that we often think about forgiveness in some unrealistic terms. For example, uh, for example, we'll use the expression forgive and forget. Well, that's pretty unrealistic. I can forgive you, but I'm not sure that I can forget what you've done. And I'm certain you can't forget what I've done that may have offended you or hurt you. 
So that's not the same thing. To forgive someone doesn't mean to forget. That would require somehow or the other that we kind of erase that tape in our brain. And I'm not sure that's possible. And forgiveness also isn't meaning, when I forgive somebody, it, it doesn't say that I don't think that what you did was harmful or should have been done. It's, it's not about that. It's not making a judgment about whether you what you did was right or wrong. It's just that I'm going to make the choice to forgive you. Now, it's very interesting when the principle for us to forgive is talked about. Paul, for example, states it this way when he writes in Colossians 3 and verse 13. He says, forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. So the question may come up, and I think it does for me, maybe it does for you as well, when can I stop forgiving? I mean, I've been hurt, and in fact I've been hurt multiple times, and maybe sometimes by the same person. So the question, when can I stop forgiving? And Paul seems to answer that very clearly. And that is, you and I can stop forgiving as soon as we are willing to say that it's okay for Jesus to stop forgiving us. And so that's why I say, it's not forgiveness math. It's a forgiveness path. And you and I are on a journey with each other. We hurt each other. And a lot of times we don't intend to do that. It's, it's not our plan. But we do hurt each other. We do things that are sometimes very hurtful and painful. But we're on a path, and it's, and, and it's all connected. It's, the pain is there, and the loss is there, and the frustrations that we have about being offended or having hurt someone and regretting that. All of that is in the mix. But what we're doing is we're choosing a path that is the way of a follower of Jesus. Because Jesus, by his very nature, is a forgiver. And so just as he forgives us, we forgive each other. And it's the way of Christ. It's the way of the church. It's the way of the people of God. And it's not about a number. It's about a way that we've decided to live. And so my encouragement to you is that if you're having trouble, and I understand it, we all do, if you're having trouble forgiving someone, think about it in this way. Think about it as a journey where you are partnering with Jesus to become more like Him and to forgive others just as Christ has forgiven you. Now let's pray together. Lord, we come and we ask that You would bless us as Your people, especially as we seek to forgive one another just as you have so generously forgiven us. Father, we've been hurt, and it's painful to be hurt. But Father, remind us it's more painful to carry that burden with us, the weight of being unforgiving people and hanging on to our resentments 
will weigh us down. So help us to let go and to discover, Father, that you free us when we forgive others. Free us of the burden of all of the weight of having to carry that with us. And remind us, Father, day after day, that it's not forgiveness math, it's a forgiveness path. Through Christ we pray. Amen.